What is up HD Reefers, Mr. Reef HD here at another video. Uh, yeah, so it's 1.30, I, I need to stop doing that. I start the video out with uh, anyway, it's 1.30 in the morning, it's very windy out. Sorry, I had to put my garage coat in and I couldn't think of it while talking. But it's 1.30 in the morning, this is supposed to be a daytime video. I fell asleep, I work midnights at my job, so the guy that was supposed to bring me um, clownfish, he was on his way basically, and I fell asleep. Well, he wasn't on his way, but I talked to him and told him I would be up, so he messages me, hey, I'm about to leave, whatever. I'm sleeping so I don't get it. I wake up like 2.50 in the morning, or sorry, uh, 12.50 in the morning, I messaged him, I'm like, my bad, I fell asleep. He was like, oh, okay, that's all right, you know. He's like, we'll do it tomorrow. And I was like, well, are you going to be up? You going to bed? He's like, I'll be up, I'm a night owl. I was like, all right, well, if you want to come now, come now. So he's on his way now, and uh, yeah, I'm outside with my dogs. Oh, I don't even, oh, that is one of my dogs. I thought it was my the tire of the car. But anyway, he's on his way now, so we'll get the two clowns and get them in the tank because I will be up now because I slept for a long time because I work midnights and normally I'm up at this time. So I'll pick back up the camera when he gets here. All right, he's here. The dogs are barking. Hey! Clownfish is here. All right, guys. Got the fish. We're in my bathroom right now trying to be quiet because my family's sleeping. So I'll do the uh, talking here and then I'll video putting him in the tank. But I probably won't be talking because people are sleeping. But here they are. We got a, I believe that's a snowflake. Pretty sure that's a snowflake, and then just a, reg a regular uh, oscillaris. But the snowflake is going to go into the new tank, the beginner, and then he's going to go with my other. I have another um, oscillaris that's lonely in my Chicago NEMS, and then these will be in my Nexus NEMS. So I'm going to put... I won't film putting him in his area because... He's not special. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's fine. But he's not part of the series. This guy is going to be part of the series. And he's nice. The guy told me that he was very mean. So, we'll see. See how he gets along with the other one. Because the other one's quite bigger than him. So we'll see how that works out. And let's go get him in the tank.
All right, guys. So both clowns are in their new tanks. They, uh, I haven't seen any aggression from either of them yet. I do suspect there will be some because anybody that knows clownfish, they are mean and they have to pair. And when they pair, it's a pretty brutal process. The clownfish fight each other to see who is going to turn female because all clownfish are born male if you didn't know that and then they fight each other and the winner gets to stay male and then the loser which I wouldn't say is the loser but the less dominant turns female and then they pair up and then they are a pair I don't know how long the other two were together the one looked really small so and normally I guess when they pair up the smaller one normally is the male and the larger one is the female so they did have quite a size difference but the smaller one was small enough that I know he's probably less than a year old maybe a year maybe um, but yeah they're not they weren't paired up in fact the guy told me they fought all the time and it, there's a difference between fighting and pairing I think they were probably just fighting. I don't know. Maybe they were pairing. Either way, they will get into their new pairs. So, they're doing good. I just, I only turn the lights on at 1 in the morning to introduce the fish to the tank. So, the lights are off now. And both fish are, will be acclimating the rest of the night. And I'm off work. So, tomorrow, I think that the... Beginner tank is going to get a makeover, and by makeover I mean corals, and I'm probably going to take out the two big, big NEMs, because those are, I mean, they're, they're where they want to be, I would assume, because they've been at, yeah, today's three days, today's day three, they've been in there three days, they haven't moved, I didn't think that they would, because that light that I'm using is not uh, super powerful. It'll grow LPS and stuff like that. I wouldn't put any SPS in there unless it was like a Monty or a bird's nest or something like that. So, yeah, they stayed at the top. The Like I said, the two orange ones, they're just too big, and I do want to do like a mixed reef or at least LPS and softies. So tomorrow, probably be adding some Aikens, maybe a Euphelia. I might, I might do a Euphelia, not sure. Um, some zoes, a few mushrooms, and then we'll go from there. And, uh, yeah, so if you want to see more videos on the tank, like this, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, found that out, you got to hit the bell notification to get notifications when I drop a new video. And yeah, you guys can learn how to, uh, do a tank, start it up. I wouldn't suggest um, going too, too fast unless you're, again, you have the right testing equipment and if you have a big bottle of bacteria because the right testing equipment and a big bottle of bacteria will save you or save you for 99% of things that could happen. There are other things that could happen. You get spikes and I also have um, ma major minor elements, trace elements. I have uh, reef plus, you know, stuff like that, that if stuff starts to get out of control, I can get them back in control. But if you don't know what you're doing, that's why you're watching this video and you can learn how to do that because there is a solution for everything. And I know the solutions, or at least the solutions that I'm going to share with you guys, I've done before and they've worked. So, yeah, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you're feeling really crazy, give this video a share, please. Thank you.